we're ready to get into Aptana, so let's get in there. We open it, double click it, and you'll see something like this. Go to File, <clears throat> New, we want a Rails project. And we'll name it Hello, because this is our Hello World to Rails. You could clone an existing Git project, but we just want to get going. Hopefully you know how to use GitHub. It's a really good spot. Um, and it just created at the command line. Here's a, an actual command line that you can use. It just created our Rails prop application. I don't like it, obviously. <clears throat> it's really interfering with my my vibe here. All right. So I just ran that command from within the hello directory. I wish I, w I hadn't capitalized it, but oh well. Um, so you can run any command you can. Jeez. All right. I'm pretty upset with this. This is terrible. Wow. All right. Well, let's close that up. Do you want to close the terminal? Cancel it. What the heck? Display all. Th what do you mean possibilities? Sure. Jeez. Okay. Get. Okay. You can. It's it's really a console. I'll hopefully edit that out, and you can run programs just the way you want. Um, we could do this. Of course, we haven't done bundle install yet. We'll do that first. Bundle install, and that'll install S my SQL or no, uh, SQLite three, which is in our gem file. Um, you probably know all that stuff by now, so it's fine. But we do want to uh, test it now. You could right click here in fact and do run server or as I did before rails space s if you uh, know your way around it. And then that'll show up and then you can click here and it'll show it to you but oops it's it's not that easy. You gotta change it to 127.0.0.1 for it to connect to the local host the uh, loop back, if you will. And we installed it. Good stuff. This is Rails. You're actually, this is a Rails application. And sure enough, you you did it. You won. Now, we have to, well, let's close the server. Hit Control C. And now the server is closed. And if you tried to go to that web address, it would fail because there's nothing listening on uh, localhost. So, uh, we did that, but now we need to do. Uh, we need to make this uh, Rails application cool. So let's just do Rails generator uh, scaffolding. Scaffold, I mean. Um, let's, let's do. Uh, oh, plant. Um, name, and that'll be a string value, a quote, and that'll be a string as well. Okay, that'll be fun. Now, what I just did, I ran a Rails command as if I was right in a Linux SSH terminal window. Very cool, but it's all happening actually on my Windows machine. This is pretty cool. Um, not practical, you don't want to be in production mode with a Windows computer, but developing and debugging, hey, why not? So, it finished doing that, and now it made these files here, controller, plants controller. Okay, now let's, we're going to debug. First thing is first, we click the bug, we click the bug, and what happens? It's an error. Okay, Aptana and Rails in general isn't good at debugging. There are no good debuggers. But it doesn't mean we can't debug. You click, see this uh, gear icon? Click the arrow down. And we want to click Debug Server. And then we'll see this Ruby Debug IDE. Okay. Now, if you don't see that, you need to install ruby-debug-ide. That is a gem. So get to your command prompt and type gem install ruby-debug-ide. 
and uh, it'll install the latest version of Ruby Debug IDE, which happens at this time to be version 0 0.4.16, and that is that sounds good to me. Then you certainly can click Debug Server, and voila! And to stop it, hit the stop sign here. Okay, now let us test the server. And sure enough, it's working. And let's even go to plants. And we're moving, we're creeping along. It's Windows, give it some credit. It looks pretty nice, look at this bar. Okay, so we get an error because we forgot to migrate up. That is typical. Let's see if we can migrate up. Now, rake db migrate. And if that doesn't work, do, of course, bundle, execute, yeah, it didn't work. Bundle, execute, rake, db, migrate. Okay, lots of typing, same thing um, for possibly not obvious reasons. I had to go the long way with my Linux system. I don't have to go the long way, so I like that about, about you know, using just SSH and not debugging at all. But that's not very, uh, that's not going to work out in the long run. So now we can refresh this page, which is slash plants, and uh, we see that it's working fine. Let's make a new plant and let's call it Eddie. And its quote will be, ah, help, I'm a plant. Okay, and we created a new plant. His name is Eddie, and he doesn't like the fact that he is a plant, which I can't blame him. It's got to be a tough life being a plant. So, what about debugging? Well, now that we have something actually interesting going on, we have a plant controller. Um, lightning, where the action happens. Sorry, it's from another tutorial. Um, now, to debug it, it is not fun, but here it goes. We're going to double click here, and we got a little node, and it's not the right color. It isn't red like it's meant to be, but, you know, uh, beggars can't be choosers. You click show, and suddenly it pops back, and it's like, blah, do you want to switch your perspective? Up here is where the perspectives are. Um, yeah, click us over to debug, and so we can break point like we meant to. Here we can debug, and you could, yeah, add new expressions, but that doesn't work. It doesn't work right now. Aptana sucks at the moment, but maybe in the future. Um, you can expand self, which is, of course, <clears throat> at this point in time, a, a part of the show method. Yeah, here's the action name show. And you can see all of these cool things. Oh, you can even see the request. Okay, I haven't played yet. Oh, that's small. Let's just make that big. Mm-hmm. This is good. Um, you can see the response. Uh, I don't see at plant. which is right here. So it hasn't been created yet. Let's step over this, which is right here. Let's step over this line, which we're at. And step over. Okay. Now this thing refreshed. Expand it and find your way to plant. Here it is. Booyah. Booyah. So this uh, attribute, as they call it, or just think of it as a variable. This variable, it has a cool little ID. Address, actually. I think that's an address, which is very cool for me to see. Um, it's got attributes, it's got an ID, it's got a name of Eddie, and it's got all this stuff. We could actually change it to Eddie P. Yo. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, you have an object when you didn't expect it, a nil object when you didn't expect it. You might have expected an instance of active record base, 
the error occurred while evaluating nil. Okay, so <clears throat> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, Aptana sucks. Okay, but there's not a whole lot out there. You can't you can't do anything you would ever want. Change value. Oh yeah, sweet. Obviously, I haven't played too much yet, but yeah, why is this so terrible? Um, yeah, so it's not working. I don't think it's meant to work. I spent a while googling why expressions didn't work, and it's because they're bad. So, uh, well, that's not all there is to debugging. There's also you can add code. Oh, here's where we are now. And I just like you could you could type in code, but the problem is. There we go. That's how you change the variable. Now the problem is you can't change it and see those changes happen while you're running through the method the first time. You have to hit, you know, resume. Resume through. Watch this terrible thing happen. Go back and then click again and then your modifications will take place. And that's just a problem with Aptana again. Again, there's Aptana sucks and beggars can't be choosers but here we go and it is actually gonna rename it Eddie P yo let's resume and sure enough Eddie P yo we actually changed plants before it got shown uh, hopefully you, you get how rails works it's pretty tricky I will admit uh, I did a tutorial on why that works and how that works before it's in written <clears throat> it's in written words so you'll have to read it um, yeah and so I'll go back and we're actually gonna do something cool we can actually do P plant and that'll <clears throat> kinda print in a debug mode that variable in a nice what I think is a nicer interface and let's break point right on it click show and we're back here and then you click step over and you see it right here it just printed that debug information out so there you go that is how you debug an application in rails at this point in time there's probably a better way out there at the at the recording date of this but how do you figure out the best way uh, who cares, you know, just quick, 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 go do the next thing. <laughs> All right, that's it. Bye-bye.